So a couple of weeks ago, while I was creating a thumbnail for this video, I got stuck with the arrow. Let's take a look. So here we have the tail of the arrow and we created the triangle separately. Now let's say I wanted to push these corners in. Now you would imagine to do that, we would have to merge these layers. And to merge it, we select the first one, hold the controller command, select the second one, both of them are now selected and then press controller command E. Now they are merged, but still they are separate shapes. If you go ahead and add, let's say, stroke to it, let's add a black stroke, it isn't an issue. It is not added in the middle and that's good news. But still the problem is there is no contact point right here to modify this. We can modify this point, we can modify that point right here, but there is no point here to modify. So how can we combine both of these shapes so that they are not separate? Because right now, if you look at it with the pen tool selected, if you hold the controller command and click on any of those, have a look, they are both separate. So to combine it, it's super simple. All you need to do after that, you have merged the layer. Simply click on the path operations icon right here at the top and choose merge shape components. There you go. It's simply merged. Now, you can create a point right here, push it in if you like. Similarly, you can do it here as well. Now, to make it crystal clear again, there are two ways to combine shapes. Let's take a look. So, first of all, let's choose a shape. Let's go for ellipse. You can choose whatever you want. You can create a custom shape. That's up to you. Now, for fill, let's choose this color. That's fine. We don't want any stroke. And now, at the top, you will see this icon right there. And this icon is, again, path operations. Now, at the top, new layer is selected. So whenever we create a new shape, it's created on a new layer. Have a look, this is ellipse one, this is ellipse two. The advantage of this is that, of course, you can have different colors for different layers, right? Now, if you combine it, this is the first way. The first way to combine it is the way we did previously. Select the first one, hold the controller command, select the second one, and then if you merge these layers by pressing controller command E, they are now one. Now keep in mind that once you do merge these layers, they both will have the same color. So if you double click on it and change the color, both of them will have the same color. Secondly, do keep in mind that when you add stroke, it will be applied to the combination of both, not in between. So let's say we add a stroke of black and we increase the stroke width a little higher. Take a look, it's not added in between. Maybe that is a result you want. Maybe that is something you don't want. And if you didn't want it, you can simply just keep the layers separate. So if you keep the layers separate, of course, now when you go ahead and add a stroke, and if you kind of increase it, and let's choose black, it is separate. And here as well, again, it is separate. But once you merge them by selecting both of those layers and pressing Ctrl or Command E, the stroke is all around it as a combination. Now let's take a look at the second way to combine these shapes. It's basically the same with a minor change. So all you need to do is that when you create the shape, right here in the path operations, choose combine shapes. Now what happens is that whenever you create a shape, it will be on the same layer combined. So there you go. This is one ellipse, another ellipse. See, it is in the same layer, but they're still separate. There you go. Maybe we're, we're making a weird person or Mickey Mouse. I don't know what that is, but you get the point. Now, this is already combined, but you have the option to control them separately. So with the shape tool still selected, you can hold the controller command and click on any one of these. You can move it if you want to. You can make it smaller, larger, make it flatter. That's up to you. So all of these have controls. But if you do want to combine everything so that you don't have separate controls over each and every one of them. Maybe you want to create a curve right here. Maybe you want to push those corners in. Whatever the reason, here's what you do. With the shape tool selected, hold the controller command and make sure that the shape is selected. And then at the top, you can do the same merge shape components. Yes. And there you have it. All of it is now combined. Now you can modify the corner points, select the pen tool, and then you can you know, modify this, you can push it in, you can create a curve, that's all up to you. So that's how to simply combine shapes in Photoshop. Either create them in a combination in one layer or merge those layers. And then all you need to do is to go to path operations and click on merge shape components. That's pretty much it. I hope this video helped you. And if it did, make sure to give us a like. And also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you, my friend, don't miss any other future tips, tricks, or tutorials. I would like to take this moment to thank all of these nice and amazing people for supporting Piximperfect on Patreon and helping keep Piximperfect free for everybody forever. It is through their support that we are able to create all of this content. It truly helps the community. If you do wish to become a Patreon member, you can go to pix.life slash Patreon. There are also lots of perks which you can check out on this page. Thanks again for watching. 
I'll see you in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating. What can I